welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Let's do the song Blackberry Blossom. Classic fiddle tune, old time and bluegrass tune. I'm just gonna play the whole thing at a moderate kind of mid-tempo speed and then we'll learn it bit by bit very slowly um, until you have the whole thing in the traditional fiddlehead way. Um, it's maybe like an intermediate level tune, some tricky stuff. You need to know the G scale, two octaves, and pinky finger. You need to be pretty good at the pinky finger. If that's the case, then let's you can roll forward with this video. If not, maybe learn the pinky finger first, and I'll put a link to how to play pinky finger in the comments field below along with all left hand fingerings will be in the comments field below too. You can look at it right now if you like. All right, so here goes the tune, Blackberry Blossom. I'll play it just to give you the full view, play it kind of slowly. That's the A part, B part. Alrighty, so let's get started. If you haven't already done so, warm up. Play the G major scale. Um, you can play one octave, then the next octave, then start the next octave, and then play like a two and a half octave range. Add different patterns. Add slur patterns, slur two separate two, and so on. <clears throat> okay, once you've warmed up a little bit, basically doing that gets your ear kind of attuned to the key of the tune, and then also it gets your fingers kind of in place as well. All right, so let's get started. Um, so the first quarter of the A part has this kind of pattern. Um, that I call one, two, three, one. And I think I've done a video for like a melodic patterns video, but basically the, it's the whole first quarter, just so you can hear the pattern, then we'll break it down. So that's the beginning of the first quarter. There's a little bit more, but it's a repeating pattern, um, which is one, two, three, one, then we do the same pattern a little bit lower. One, two, three, one, and then a little bit lower. One, two, three, one. All right, so we're gonna start with low two on E. And do this pattern. Low two, three, four, low two. Okay? If you get this, this is actually technically hard if you're a beginner or intermediate. Maybe one of the more difficult parts of the tune, actually. Cycle. Are you sleeping? That's what, another way to remember this uh, melodic pattern. All right. So then the next repetition of it starts first finger on E and it goes one, low, two, three, one. Now just repeat on that. Maybe a little bit more on your own. Then the next repetition of the pattern, one, two, three, one, or are you sleeping pattern starts on open E. And now repeat on that. Do that a bunch. If you repeat each of those repetitions a few times just on their own, then when, now when we go to put it together, 
it'll be way easy. So make sure you pause the video and if you're at all uncertain of any of those parts, play them cycling one, one repetition over and over. And then now I'm gonna put them together. All right, here's that again. So that's almost the whole first quarter. The next, it ends with four notes that break with the pattern. So A3, one, open, and then D3. This is actually a good exercise as well. I just want to say that all these tunes, fiddle tunes, contain everything you need to become a great musician, a great fiddler. Um, you could take this little four note thing and create a whole series of exercises. And without getting too off track with learning Blackberry Blossom, I want to do a little bit of that because I just think it's so cool how you could just do this with any tune you could just play forever and come up with create endless exercises that are fun to do so you, you did it there okay that's that happens in blackberry blossom now start that thing on d string okay back to a now we've created like a serial exercise if we start it on E, okay, now let's do it on starting on E, then on A, then on D, three in a series. Let me do it slower. Okay, so we'll get back to the tune in just a second. One more thing you could do with this little bit that we extracted from the song. You could go backwards. Now down and then up. It starts to sound like its own piece of music. It's really a fun way to practice if you take it to heart. Then do that on another string. Okay, enough. You could, you could do more, you could add rhythms in, but I, let's get back to our tune. By now, if you've done all that, this little piece, you've probably mastered. But not only that, that's actually pretty good technical practice, because you've got to use your third on two different strings. If you're a beginner, it's kind of hard. So we're going to put together this with the beginning now. go. That's the whole first quarter, even a little slower. Good. <clears throat> so if you've got that down, make sure you have that down. Repeat it a bunch of times. Pause the video, repeat it, because it's also the third quarter. So if you have that piece down, then you have half of the A part. All right, let's move on to the second quarter. Um, assuming you've paused it already and practiced, do it. All right, second quarter. I'm gonna play the whole second quarter of the B part. I'm gonna break it down a little bit, starting D1. That's the are you sleeping pattern again. One, two, three. Okay, and then after that, open one, three, A, open on D. So from the beginning of the second quarter, do that twice in a row. Okay, and that's followed by on A string, one, three, one, and then adding D three. 
that's a great little piece too. You could create exercises from that as well. All right, we won't do that now. I'll let you do that on your own. And then after that, string an open A. Make sure you can see. So open one, three, A. So. is what we do to finish the second quarter. Now I'll play the entire second quarter. Oops, I think I messed it up uh, the first time I showed it to you. It ends like this. I mean, what I did before wasn't wrong, but I'm trying to do consistent versions, and this will be consistent with um, the play along track I'm making for it. So we have the whole uh, second half is. All right, sorry about that. It's in the correct fingerings will be in the comments field below. Um, so here's the whole second quarter again. Once more, just because I feel bad that I messed it up. What I did before isn't wrong necessarily, especially in the fiddle realm where there's lots of different types of ways to uh, vary things. But what I'm aiming to do with this lesson is a consistent version that you can learn for ear training. And then later on, we learn how we can change the tunes, how we can add variation. So anyhow, we have the whole second quarter. Um, the first quarter was... Then the second. Then the third is the same as the first. Fourth starts like the second and ends a little different. So that's the beginning of the fourth quarter, so far exactly like the second quarter, and then it ends like this. M-O-U-S-C Those are thirds for you music nerds out there. So the whole fourth quarter. Okay, good. One more time, fourth quarter. All right, I'm now gonna play the entire A part very slowly. If anything is unclear, you can rewind to earlier parts of the video. Here we go. One, two, three, and four, and. Very good work if you made it this far. Let's move on to the B part. So B part requires fourth finger on the A. And, and uh, well, there's two ways to do it. The first quarter is. I'm 
I'm going to show it to you like I do it using fourth on A. But that note is an E note, same pitch as the open E. So if you really feel uncomfortable with fourth finger or pinky on the A string, you can use open E instead, all right? I'll remind you of that as we get as we keep going. But anyway, we're going to start first on D, going to fourth on A. That's pretty hard, so do that a bunch. Do it a lot more. I'm going to keep going on this video, but I recommend pausing and doing that a bunch, maybe doing it on other strings. It's called an octave, that interval. It's a low E to a higher E. All right, let's keep going. So adding to this phrase, first quarter of the B part. So it's a long, short, short. And then we're going to go three, one. So we have again, and then we're going to add four, three. Very key riff. I recommend really practicing this a lot because it's repeated a ton in the B part. Slower. All right, if you get that, then you're in good shape. Um, for those of you who don't want to use fourth finger, you can use E like this. Even if you can do the fourth, maybe you should try it anyway. Maybe you'll like the sound of it or want to use it as a variation. It's got its own unique sound. Um, all right, let's move on. So we did this. We're not done with the first quarter yet. We have to do this now. Just a little bit different this this next part. Instead of going up to fourth, we just go open A, D three. Here it is. Once more. Here's the whole first quarter of the B part. Cool. And again. Moving on. Second quarter. So they all start with. And then on the second quarter, we're going to then do open to one on E. And then that's followed by a cool little piece that um, recalls the beginning of the A part. But then we do something different. So that's three on E, low two open, A3. So this whole next part of the second quarter. Here's the whole second quarter. Once again. Cool. Third quarter is the same as the first. fourth quarter of the B part. We just tack on the same ending from the A part. I call that, uh, pat this is a certain pattern, not to get out too off track, but it's thirds, or I also call it skip a step. It's 
skipping a step on the scale. If I were to continue down the scale. All right, so I'm gonna put a video to um, melodic uh, variation for scales because there's two big patterns that are used in Blackberry Blossom. This one, which is thirds or skip a step. And then the one, two, three, one pattern. Okay, let's get back on track. The whole fourth quarter, again, of the B part. Here it is again. Excellent. I'm now gonna play the entire B part very slowly. If you're still uncertain of anything, please go back and review the, each quarter, each part of each quarter. Play things in a loop. Um, all right, here we go. One and two and three and four and That's it. Have fun with this one. Great tune. So long. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.